Frank, walking down the road at night, asks for directions from a circular device, called Coach. It leads him into a pairing hub, where he meets up with Amy, his match from the coach. Frank is really nervous. It's his first time with Coach, an AI-powered dating app. The Coach app, uses AI to order food for them. They decide to check the expiry date, the date on which their relationship will end, according to the AI app. The app reveals, that their relationship will last only 12 hours. The app starts the countdown to their apparent breakup. They decide to quickly finish their food. They take a self-driving auto to a room, already decided by the coach. They go inside the bedroom, and find an ensuite too. Amy goes in the suite, while Frank waits outside. She takes out the coach, and asks it, what are they supposed to do now? The coach doesn't give her a clear answer. Frank asks his coach, if they are supposed to make out. Coach tells him that they are not required to take any specific action. They decide what they want to do next. Amy comes out. Frank tells her, that he can sleep on the sofa. Amy tells him that they can both fit in the bed. They lie in the bed, and talk about how difficult it must have been, to do the relationship thing, before the coach was invented. They believe it's much simpler, when the AI can map out the whole thing for them. They don't have to go through finding the right person. Amy holds Frank's hand. Next morning, as they are leaving, they regret not making out with each other. They say their goodbyes, as the time runs out. Amy is jogging. She tells the coach that she don't see any point, in something as short as 12 hours. The coach tells her, that even the brief encounter provides valuable information for future matches. Frank is arguing with his coach. The coach tells him that his ultimate partner has not been found yet. In 99.8% of cases, the coach is able to find the ultimate partners, on the pairing day, but Frank will have to go through loads of relationships to find it. Amy and Frank, both receive another match. Amy meets up with her match, Lenny, while Frank meets up with his match, Nicola. Frank and Nicola check their expiry date, they have been matched for one year. Nicola is upset for such a long period. Frank makes a joke, but Nicola disdains him for it. On the other hand, Amy and Lenny are paired up for nine months. Lenny and Amy go to their rooms, Lenny goes to take a shower. Lenny suggests to make out right away, to break the ice, and check for compatibility. He consents to everything on his coach, and Amy does the same. They start making out. On the other hand, Frank and Nicola make out too, but Nicola keeps complaining throughout the act. Later, Frank checks his coach, which still says 365 days. Next day, Frank wants to walk away from his match, but the coach tells him, that he can't do that if he wishes to find his ultimate match. Frank and Nicola visit a wedding, where he finds Amy with Lenny. The bride tells everyone to have faith in the system, because she found her ultimate match. Frank takes a snack with garlic dip, which Nicola chastises him for. He takes another snack with the dip, just to spite her. Amy meets up with him. He starts choking on the snack. Amy helps him, and they start laughing. Lenny comes over. They all leave after the wedding is over. At night, lying next to Lenny, Amy holds his hand. They start making out, but she starts getting agitated by his mannerisms. She tells Lenny about the voice he makes, every time he drinks something. He picks his ear, which again agitates her. Some time passes. Amy still has two months with Lenny. Lenny hasn't changed his mannerisms. They say their goodbyes, once their time expires. Amy is matched with another partner, but only for 36 hours. They make out, and say their goodbyes. Another partner, for 36 hours again. She keeps getting new partners, but only for 36 hours. Meanwhile, Frank and Nicola wait anxiously, as the seconds count down to their expiry. Nicola leaves, without even saying goodbye. He is matched with another partner, and waits for her at the hub. It is revealed to be Amy again. Amy doesn't want to check the expiry date, because she jumped from partner to partner very quickly, and is really tired of the whole thing. They both agree not to check the expiry. They go to the room, and start making out with each other. Amy wonders, if the coach is really finding them their ultimate matches, or just wearing them down, so they settle with whoever the apps matches them up with. Frank says that, this is one of the darkest things he's ever heard. Frank theorizes that the if the system is as complex as they say it is, then it can build a profile so complex, that it starts having its own thoughts, implying that it could be them, and they are stuck in a simulation. They spend their time together, without checking the expiry. At night, when Amy is sleeping, Frank decides to check the expiry. The expiry is revealed to be five years. But the act of checking the expiry, changes it to three years, and then again to 18 months. Coach says, that one-sided check of the expiry has destabilized the relationship. It changes it again to two months, and then to three weeks. Frank wants it to stop. Coach says it will stop, 
once recalibration is complete. The final expiry is revealed to be 20 hours. In the morning, Amy notices something wrong with Frank. They go to a park, and Amy hugs him. Frank keeps checking his coach. Amy confronts him. He tells her that he looked at the expiry, and they only have an hour left. Frank wants to ignore it, but they can't. Amy leaves in anger. Frank goes home, and starts crying. He wants to ditch the system, but the coach warns him, that this would result in his banishment. Amy and Frank feels lonely, despite getting new matches. Amy is throwing pebbles in the lake, always managing to get four bounces. Her coach informs her, that her ultimate match has been found. Her pairing day is tomorrow, and she'll be able to leave this place forever. Prior to pairing day, she's allowed to have a small farewell with any one of her choosing. She chooses Frank, and then throws the coach into the pool. She meets up with Frank, and they kiss. Frank tells her, that his pairing day is tomorrow too, but he doesn't want what the system choose for him. They both want to be with each other. They realize, that they don't have any memory, from before the whole dating thing started. Amy thinks that the world is trying to keep them apart, and that this is a test. Rebelling the system, will result in them passing the test. They get up, and try to leave. A man approaches, and tases them but it doesn't work. Everything freezes in place. They leave the place, and climb the wall to go to the outside world. It is revealed that the entire thing was a simulation. One out of 1000 simulations to test their compatibility. In 998 simulations, they both rebelled to be together, thus giving them a 99.8% match. The episode ends with Amy and Frank, meeting up for the first time, in the real world. Like, and subscribe, for more videos like this.